Shalom and good rising to the 12 scattered tribes of Israel, even Yashorel, and those who cleave to Yashorel. Today is the sixth day of the 12 biblical lunar month, Adar, 6009. 6009, and it is the fifth working day of the first week of the 12th biblical lunar month, Adar, 6009. I have already made the new moon video, but I ran out of space and I was not able to show us the dates that yours Kalin, that your Sabbaths fall on for the month of February, between the months of February and March and Rome's Gregorian calendar. And so I want to do this this morning. But let us pause to give high praises to Yahuwah. the mighty Elohim of the Hebrews, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the one who spake and it was done, the one who commanded and it stood fast. So here is, here is, the days for Yah's creation Sabbath. And let us bear in mind that Yah's creation Sabbath is not a day. They are dates. I hope this will allow me to show us the dates. Maybe, maybe I'll have to just laid flat for us because it seemed like it's not working. So, this was the new moon day. I hope we are seeing it. This is the new moon day. And that is why your Sabbath is going, is, will be on Mondays for four weeks because the new moon falls on a Monday on Rome's Gregorian calendar. So this was the new moon. And uh, although I can't say seven, yes, seven day from the new moon will be our Sabbath, but we are at day six already. So we only have two days before your Sabbath is here. And uh, your Sabbath is going to be on, here is it, on the 27th of February, which is the 8th of Adar on Yah's creation calendar. Okay, so your Sabbath will be on Mondays for four weeks. And here we have the Sabbath of the first quarter of the moon right here, which is which will be at our eight six thousand and nine, which is two days from today. So tomorrow is going to be the preparation day, which will be on Sunday. So bear in mind that this is late. 
because I did not have enough space on my phone. So the Sabbath of the full moon, which is the Sabbath of the full moon, which is March 6th. And uh, Adar 15. Right here. Followed by the Sabbath of the third quarter of the moon, which is going to be here on the 13th of March, which is Adar 22nd on Yah's creation calendar. Followed by the Sabbath of the fourth quarter of the moon. I'm hope we are seeing it, which will be March 29th on Rome's Gregorian calendar. And, uh, Adar 20, no, let me say it again. Sabbath of the fourth quarter of the moon will be on March 29. And it is going, what is Rose the, Let me do it again. <laughs> Apologize. The Sabbath of the fourth, fourth quarter of the moon of the 12th, Biblical lunar month, Adar, 29th, 6009, will be on March 20th, 2023, on Rome's Gregorian calendar. So that is what I wanted to let us See and know for yourselves. Because as we should know by now, that Rome has lied to us about every, every, everything. I had read before, before telling us that Yah's people, his Hebrew people, kept his Sabbath, kept not just the seventh day Sabbath, but also the new moon. Everything has been stolen and hidden from us. And so we need to search for ourselves. We need to search for ourselves to find truth. I think it's Jeremiah 29, 13 says, And you shall seek me when, and you shall seek me for, and he shall seek me and he shall find me. When you shall seek for me with all your hearts. So we need to search the scriptures for ourselves. To see what is written therein. Because despite the fact that Rome and the Greek translators have falsify just about everything if we search for ourselves we will see the truth that they overlooked and were unable to hide thing it Ye yahusha says the kingdom of elohim is like a treasure hidden a field when a man 
for find it, he hid it. And he goes home and sold all that he had and buy the field. So we need to seek for truth. Seek for what Rome has hidden from us. Let me just read. Let me just read what I read already. It says, Here, this, you who swallowed up the needy and the straw, the poor of the land, saying, when will the new moon be over? So we might sell wheat. And the Sabbath, so we may. Sell grain. And trade it. Not reading good. Hear this, you who swallowed up the needy and destroy the poor of the land, saying, When will the new moon be over? So we may sell wheat and the Sabbaths, so we may trade in wheat, making the F of small. The shekels great, falsifying the scale by deceit, so we may buy the poor for silver and the needy for a pair of shoes. Yes, we will even sell the refusers grain. It says Yahuwah has vowed an oath against the pride of Jacob. Surely I will never forget any of their works. You will you <laughs> will not the land tremble for this, and everyone mourn who dwells in it? It mourns up like the Nile, like the Nile River at once, swelling up and subsiding like the river of Egypt. And it will be in that day, says Father Yahuwah, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon and I will darken the earth in broad daylight. I will turn your feast into mourning and all your songs into lamentation. I will bring up sackcloth upon every waist and baldness on every head. I will make it like mourning for an own. I will make it like mourning for an only son. And the end of it, like bitter day, like a bitter day. Behold, the days come, says Father Yahuwah, that I will send famine upon the land. Oh. Not for the famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but 
for hearing the word of Yahuwah, the law, and the prophets. They will wander from sea to sea, and from north to east. They shall run back and forth to seek the word of Yahuwah, the law, and the prophets, but it will not, but will not find it. Let's see what this says. In that day, the lovely virgin and strong young men will faint for thirst. Those who vow by sin, God Elohim of Samaria, who say, as surely as your God El lives. O Dan, and as surely as the gods of El of Bathsheba lives, they will fall and never rise again. So your Sabbath is determined by the new moon. And each phases of the moon. Rome has hidden all of this from us. And now we must search with all our hearts to respond to your truth and keep his Sabbaths. that is determined by each full moon and the phases of the moon. I just read a story where Elisha had a Pray that this widow conceived and bear a son. And she did. But as, he, as the year went by, as, as the years went by, this son died because... He had a headache, and uh, he faint. He he cried for his head in the in in um in while they were in the field, and so his mother took him, put him on his lap, but shortly after, shortly after he um he died. And so she took him and laid him on the prophet's bed. But the point I wanted to show us is that after this, the death of his, her son, she knew that the prophet was able to bring her son back to life. And so she asked her husband to send a lad with the donkey so he may go to see the prophet Elisha. Here's what this the, the, the husband asked. He said, but he uh, asked, why are you going to see him this day? It is neither the new moon nor the Sabbath. She replied, It is my wealth, it is for my welfare. She saddled on the horse and the donkey and instructed her servant to lead 
do not slow down until I tell you. So, this is just showing us that the Sabbaths are worship days. And so, when we continue, when we continue to keep Rome's fixed Saturday Sabbath, we are rejecting your Sabbath. We are breaking your commandments. And we are transgressing the laws. Let us be aware that Rome is responsible for the three days of worship that is assigned to us. So let us be true to your commandments and let us keep his Sabbaths, which is determined by the new moon and the four phases of the moon. The prophet Isaiah says, if we are willing and obedient, we shall eat the good of the land. But if we refuse and rebel, we will be devoured by the sword. Thing Revelation 22 verses 14 says, Blessed are they that keep his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. It says, For outside are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and worshippers of God Elohim and everyone who profess to love but practice breaking the law. Yahusha says, In vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. Let us realize that our future depends on our obedience to the commandment of Elohim. Let us search for truth. And if we truly mean to serve Yahuwah, the truth is will be revealed to us. But if we continue to have our own way and to walk in the ways that Rome has, that Rome Christianity has taught us, then when the fall of Babylon comes, we will fall with it. Yahuwah admonishes people to come out of Babylon so that come out of Babylon, my people, so you may not be partakers of her sins. Right now, 
the world are falling around us because of the evil and the lawlessness against this against the lawlessness of that your, that this system have been committing against your chosen people when your whole people are being afflicted as we have been and when his anointed are targeted and charged and set upon like David was and even and grandmaster J now this is how the system behaves with earthquakes and with disasters let us obey yahuwah let us keep his sabbaths and all his feast days which have been hidden from hidden from us so once again your sabbaths falls on mondays for four weeks on rome's great gorian calendar so let us listen to the word and remember that to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams and so may yahuwah favor you may yahuwah cause his face to shine upon us may yahusha be gracious unto us and give us peace shalom we are Two days from your Sabbath, which falls on Mondays for four weeks on Rome's Gregorian calendar. Shalom. Shalom.